At the state health department finding mosquitoes carrying West Nile virus in at least four Colorado counties so far. Our reporter Christian Sudas spoke to health experts. Christian, what do they tell you? Yeah, Hannah, experts tell me so far there have been no reports in Colorado of a human contracting the virus. That usually doesn't happen until later in the summer. With the arrival of warmer weather, mosquitoes are coming out in full force. Not only will mosquitoes cause red itching bumps, but some can transmit the West Nile virus. Four out of every five people will be infected and they won't even know. During a routine monitoring, four Colorado counties tested positive for West Nile virus. Boulder, Delta, Weld, and Larrymore counties. We have not confirmed any human cases this season. Most people will show no symptoms, but a fever is possible and even severe disease. Weaknesses that we know of with West Nile surveillance is that we only get reported the really bad cases. So a lot of people don't get testing done because they have their fever and then they recover. In 2022, Mesa County had four cases. 20 people were killed by the West Nile virus statewide among 206 reported cases. It's very difficult to predict how many cases we'll get, um, partly because what the cases that we see that are reported to us are the ones that one saw a doctor, two got tested, and three tested positive. To try combating the spread, health officials suggest to limit outdoor activities at dusk and dawn. That's when mosquitoes are most active. Wear long sleeve shirts and pants. Experts say there's no treatment for West Nile virus, so prevention is key. The health department says not cases are reported in August and in September. Christian Sita, 11 News. All right, thanks, Chris.